Hello there. Assalamu alaikum. I'm Ashik. Today we are going to look at some facial verbs. Usually all the verbs related to clothes and dress. It's very important. So let's get started. Our first phrasal verb is put on. Put on means you are going to wear something. Here is example. I put on my shirt. Okay. You are getting dress. You will wear something. You, you will wear shirt, t-shirt, anything or pants, shoes. You will put on. And the another phrase take off is totally opposite to put on. Like uh, I have uh, wear my t-shirt. Now I will take off or I will took my shirt. That is take off. Here is example. He takes off his shirt. So this is the phrasal verbs and here the put on. It's totally takes off is opposite to put on. You put on your shirt and then you take off your shirt. And we can use uh, these both of uh, phrasal verbs in a past tense as well. Like he took off his shirt, he took off his uh, pant, etc. And uh, the third phrasal verb is very interesting, dress up. You know that in, a, in the occasion, in a party, we dress up because we have to wear something nice. So I will, here is an example. I will dress up for the party. Like you have a party tomorrow or today night. So you have to dress up. So you will wear something nice, a new dress. So uh, you can dress up. Dress up. I will dress up for the party. Okay, our fourth phrasal verb is jeep up. Jeep up means it's related to uh, your jeeper. Like you have a jacket and we know that our jacket has a jeeper. So you have to jeep it up. So we can uh, tell that, oh, it's cold. Jeep up your jacket. It's cold, jeep up your jacket. Uh, our another phrasal verb is have one. It's pretty interesting. Uh, like I'm gonna give you another example what are you wearing now what are you wearing now so instead of using wearing you can use what do you have on right now okay like here is the example what will you have on okay here have on is means what are you wearing now uh, you can call someone and ask him, hey friend, what are you wearing now? Or instead, uh, instead of use this uh, word, you can ask him, what do you have on right now? And the last one, try on. It's very, it's very necessary. It's really necessary. Uh, like you go along with your friends to a showroom, a new brand, okay, and you, see a nice t-shirt and a nice pant and uh, you can ask your friend that try it on so you can ask him try it on it's nice go to the dressing room and try it on check it out it's very nice so try on tell someone try it on here is try on so all the verbs related to our clothes and dress it's very essential in our daily life so before concluding uh, i'm gonna say how phrasal verbs makes so actually a verb and a phrase sorry a preposition together becomes a phrasal verbs a verb and a preposition so you look that here all the words are preposition 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 and others are verbs so usually student hates phrasal verbs because it's it's many in english okay uh, and uh, one request to all of you ignore my all shortcomings and thanks for watching